this is Scott. So I uh, hope you've joined my channel before. <clears throat> I cover a broad variety of data science topics in analytics. And uh, I cover also a couple of uh, types of uh, platforms for such. Um, one is open source, like R, Python, et cetera, and the other is some commercial platforms as well. This is actually going to be um, a video on R, specifically related to ARIMA, um, white noise, random walks, um, forecasting, um, and we're going to be using R in our studio. So let me clear all of this out. So what we want to talk about is we want to talk about discrete white noise and we want to talk about random walks. So why are we discussing this is because um, our time series, as we talked about previously, we're interested in correlation, autocorrelation um, with the series itself. So we need to talk about things like, um, well, let's just start with, with white noise. So white noise, a process or a discrete white noise process is essentially you can imagine a series of data points that are generated from a normal distribution with mean zero and constant standard deviation and so this is Gaussian white noise or uh, normal um, white noise and uh, so in R using the R normal um, and of course this is going to be standard normal so this will have um, standard deviation one and a mean of zero. So if I uh, look at that, so I'm using R no, R N O R M function. And if I plot, do a simple plot of that, of course I get a scatter. Let, let me use the lines command. So I'm gonna use the lines command to get more of a series that we're, we're used to in seeing. And, and again, we don't see any any pattern um, each one of these points again is just generated as a random uh, process with and and no point in the future is related to any point in the past and in fact if we do an autocorrelation plot an ACF function that's what we we kind of get we get one point here that's outside of the 95% confidence interval, but given the number of points, I've got 200 points here. Um, and this one is on uh, uh, 20, 23 or so. Um, you'd expect every now and then to see that. So let's contrast that to a random walk. A random walk is such that I can have correlation. So I can have points correlated um, with the future and we talked about stationarity last time. And so um, I can have a situation with a random walk that is that is non-stationary. Let's just let's just plot this out. So I'm I'm using the arima.sim sim function and I'm pulling a, a um, PDQ of 000 for 200 points. And let me just run that. Uh, and then we can look at look at the points here. And then let's actually plot those out. And uh, again, it looks similar to, to white noise here. Um, <clears throat> but in fact, I do have a random random walk. And let's see what the auto plot function uh, looks like as well. So um, this, this plot here, let's see, uh, where is it, where did it go? Let me just do it again. Uh, this series here is a, a random walk series that can be thought of essentially white noise additive to all the terms, um, uh, elements within a discrete white noise uh, and if I and these can even have drifts as well so here I'm going to use um, a p0 a d1 q0 with a, a mean of one in other words I'm I'm I'm, in, I'm influencing some some drift here as well and so that I can see that again the series does in fact drift up, I have a trend, this is non-stationary in nature, 
And if I look at the autocorrelation function, you might expect that um, highly autocorrelated and dampening very slowly from from the points that that we've seen before. So uh, anyway, I'll keep it short. Uh, we'll talk uh, soon about uh, more more about Arima. Hope to see you then.